So the first thing, of course, is to uh, plug in the um, your tiller. So I'm going going ahead and do that. Here we go, and then we go to the uh, setup USB game controller in the Windows 10 or 11 or whichever the window uh, Windows version uh, you might be using and then select the Cat3 Design A320 Tiller version 2 and then properties and then go to settings calibrate next center point and uh, move the uh, the handle both ways several times one two three four five six that should be enough press next and that's uh, the calibration completed and uh, this is uh, the plus edition tiller so it has uh, the four way view switch is one four three two and also of course the pedal disconnect button as well press apply okay and okay all right now we go to uh, Microsoft uh, flight simulator here we are and then first thing you must do is uh, to go to the EFB And uh, make sure you have uh, the development version of uh, A32NX um, installed. Otherwise, I don't think uh, you'll see Tiller option. You go to settings and then hold it to disabled. So make sure you uh, select enabled. Okay. Now, go to uh, control options and uh, select the A320 TLR version 2 and uh, as with uh, any uh, new joystick device um, you'll have to get rid of all the, uh, the default um, assignments there might be a quicker way of doing this but I'm not an expert um, on this so uh, if anyone knows a better way to do it uh, please uh, feel free to mention it in the comment section okay so uh, all the default assignments have been cleared and uh, now we will go ahead and assign the actual tiller axis um, as I mentioned earlier, there is no such thing as a tiller axis um, within the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So uh, A32NX um, add-on has uh, devised a way um, to uh, to use tiller um, on its uh, on its own add-on. Um, so go to um, search by name and type in mixture and then you will see mixture 4 axis and it's uh, minus 100 to plus 100 click and then simply turn your tiller handle sorry start 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 scanning and then yep turn the tiller handle so it'll recognize the tiller axis and then press validate have a little play full left full right and we can fine tune it to later on if we have to uh, now go back to search and then type in water radar or just water and it pops up 
toggle water rudder and uh, then press start scanning and press pedal disconnect push button and it assigns the pedal disconnect function validate all right so apply and save and then go back to the flight and let's see if uh, the tiller works now all right so here's a tiller full left full right so as you can see the um, the direction is uh, inverted so uh, we can go ahead and uh, reverse that so control options make sure you got the, the right controller selected and uh, power management mixture and then untick the reverse axis press escape apply and save and escape again and let's see yep that works well perfect now pedal discon disconnect push button I don't believe there's animation to it uh, on this version but uh, it should be working um, so uh, that's the quick guide to setting up the um, the tiller uh, for Microsoft uh, flight simulator use and uh, of course uh, for those who bought um, the plus edition uh, there will be extra uh, four-way view switch behind the tiller of course and you can assign those uh, for whatever the function you would like to assign and uh, that's about it uh, thanks for uh, watching folks and uh, if you've got any questions uh, feel free to email me or uh, um, drop a, uh, a question um, in the comment section all right thank you